Thank you, Dave. Well, the time now is 847. A new documentary film premieres tonight titled $100 a Day. It tells the story of an East Palo Alto man who spent 12 years in jail, convicted of a murder he did not commit, and his continued struggle for justice even after he was exonerated. I knew on the second day of a trial that had 6,600 pages of transcript that I was going to be convicted because the stage was set. Joining us to tell this amazing story is Rick Walker. Along with him is Allison Tucker, the attorney who helped free him. Nice to have you both here. Nice. So you knew something was going to happen, but when that jury came back and said guilty, I mean, what, what were your thoughts? Well, basically I was already prepared to go to prison because, like I said, I, I knew the stake was already set and it, they, they had tunnel vision. They looked at me and they never looked at anyone else for, for the crime. And, 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 and the, um, the, the murder was of a, a young woman you knew, was a girlfriend of yours at one time. Yes. Um, and your mother had great faith in you, yes, and your did. mother went to a friend of hers who had a daughter who was going to law school, Allison Tucker. And, I mean, you're not even a lawyer yet, and your mom gives you this, this story. What were your initial thoughts? Well, I didn't think there was anything I could do, but when my mom asked would I have lunch with her old friend and, and talk to her about the case, so that's, I had to say yes, and then... One thing led to the next, and I started hearing about witnesses that knew that Rick was not involved in the crime. How do you have time to go to law school and investigate something like this at the same time? Well, I was a third year. Yeah. <laughs> this was more important than anything we did in the classroom. What was, what was your thoughts when your mom told you this young woman? Uh, what prison were you in, by the way, at the time? Oh. Because you were in Pelican Bay at one, yeah. one time. Um. I don't know exactly where I was. Okay, at well, that, that time. doesn't make any, uh, really much difference. But what were you, what was your thinking when you found out this young woman was going to represent you and find out? Oh, I knew exactly where I was at that time. I was at Pelican Bay, and we had a phone call, and my mom connected with Allison, and Allison connected with me, and I actually had Dennis Reardon as an appeal attorney at that time, and I um, I just said, you know what, it's your case. What was it in the case that turned you around, Allison? You said, this man's innocent. It was evidence. It was three different men in East Palo Alto who knew the murderers and in different ways had let it be known that they knew who'd really killed Lisa Hopewell and that Rick had nothing to do with it. How did you get them to talk? Um, well, it, it, they, were, they were brave and for different reasons, I think, and at different times over the course of a period of years, they were willing to say what they knew. And when you went to authorities and said, this man's innocent, um, and that's not an easy thing. They, they really do turn uh, away from you with uh, information like that. Well, I know that originally the DA was skeptical because they didn't think they would make important mistakes like this. Um, but uh, the head of homicide agreed to talk to me, and I think she must have allowed about an hour for the meeting. And then over the course of the several hours I spent in her office, she kept canceling other meetings to continue hearing the evidence that I'd collected. And then over a period of months after that, she had her investigator go out and talk to the people who I told her were ready to tell the truth and sort of recheck that, in fact, uh, the witnesses were saying that Rick had nothing to do with the crime. So you spent 12 years of a 25-year uh, sentence in prison, one of uh, the prisons, Pelican Bay, which we know, um, that's a notorious prison up in Northern California. Um, you met your son, who was 12 when you went in. He was 24 when you, when you came out. Then you had to fight the state legislature, and that's the title of the documentary, $100 a day, because that was due you. Yes. And it took a long time to get that money. Allison fought for that as well. She did. She did. Well, the documentary is, as I said, $100 a day. It's a film premiere at Santa Clara University tonight at the Benson Memorial Center. If you want more information, go to KT, uh, ktvu.com, click on web links to register for the free screening. It's tonight at 6 p.m. Welcome back home.
Thank you. Thanks Mark. for coming in this morning. Thank you, Allison. Thank you very much. Time now is uh, 8.52. Let's go back to the desk.